Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, it's an honor to be with you and participate in this uh, fourth edition of ICAST 2020. Uh, in this talk, I will be presenting uh, our work paper 37 entitled uh, Android uh, Malware Detection Using Convolutional Deep Neural Networks. Uh, this is what I'm uh, planning to cover in this talk. First, I explain the motivation and formulate the problem statement. Next, I briefly present the technical background on uh, Android security model and some uh, terminology behind convolutional neural networks. Then I will, uh, uh, I will turn to the building of the convolutional models. Last and before concluding, I will exhibit and discuss the obtained results. Uh, according to GE data, there are more than uh, 1.9 million new mobile applications by the end of the second half of 2019 meaning that there, are, there is a new mobile application every 8 seconds. 80% uh, of attacks are targeting Android platform. Uh, in the early life of mo mobile malware, which starts by the Kebir malware in, the, in uh, 2004, manual, at this time, manual uh, rules or handcrafted rules were enough to detect most of them. Nowadays, it's uh, important to automate the detection process in order to remedy the increasing and alarming speed of uh, malware evolution. Recent research show that uh, machine learning based approaches are robust and scalable detection systems. Moreover, deep learning approaches outperform convolutional machine learning ones and work much better. So, the main question we are addressing is uh, uh, what is the impact of using multi-channel architecture or uh, adding inception modules on deep model performance? More specifically, we make the following contributions. First, we apply uh, convolutional neural networks to detect uh, Android malware on a big data set uh, composed of uh, 50,000 uh, malware and uh, 50,000 uh, benign applications. Second, we implement three different architectures to show the impact of using uh, uh, multi-channel or adding inception uh, uh, modules on, uh, the, mod on the model uh, performance. Let's turn to some uh, technical details about the Android security model. Uh, Android is uh, based on Linux and uh, therefore it inherits its uh, privileged separation security mechanisms. Second, uh, application developers use a digital signature and self-certified certificates to establish the trust relationship with end, with end users. Third, uh, Android implements a mechanism of permissions which forces applications to ask for authorization before accessing sensitive user data or uh, system features such as camera or GPS. Uh, the phone screen on the right shows a legitimate application, Allo Shorta, asking for permission to manage or to make a phone call. Now, we introduce some terminology behind convolutional neural network. A convolutional neural network, or CavNet for short, is a type of feed-forward neural network. It is inspired by the organization of the animal uh, visual uh, cortex. It uses convolution instead of uh, matrix multiplication at, uh, in at least one of its layers. And the basic uh, units of CNN are convolution, subsampling to reduce the computational load and the memory usage, and uh, fairly connected layers for the classification task. The figure here is an overview of the classification system. First, we proceed to features extraction, 
from the Kudus dataset. We extract permissions from uh, the corresponding manifest files. And for each class in the list of the APK package, and for each method in the set of methods of each class, we extract the corresponding IPAs. Next, we clean the carpus. Uh, we call this uh, step uh, cl the cleaning uh, step. And then we proceed to pay the, the, the obtained the lists to the same maximum length. The last step is word embedding. Uh, just a few words about word embedding. Uh, so, using word embedding, we represent each word in the vocabulary, either it's a permission or an APA call, using a small and dense uh, vectors of uh, 100 dimension. This representation reduces the dimension and highlights the similarities between APA calls with clear semantics. Uh, now we turn to uh, uh, building uh, the convolutional models. Uh, neural models are built by uh, stacking different uh, types of layers, either, uh, either in uh, sequential or in parallel manner, or some mixture of the two. Uh, we begin our experiment with uh, a linear model, inspired from the model of uh, Colobert uh, on sentiments analysis. The architecture uh, starts with an embedding layer, followed by four convolutional uh, layers, then flattening, and the dense layer, and then some dropouts, and finally a dense layer again. Uh, the convolutional layers are acting on 64, 32, and uh, 16 filters. The idea behind the second model, which is uh, an inception-based one, is to try all convolutions with different filter sizes and let the model select the best result. This model is computationally less expensive. Uh, the activation function is really for convolutional layers and softmax for uh, fully connected layers. The number of filters is 64 in each convolution. and I have used the as loss function uh, the cross uh, uh, entropy and the uh, uh, binary cross entropy and Adam as optimization algorithm. Uh, the third model is uh, uh, the uh, multi channel model. The difference between the inception based model and the multi channel model is that the later accepts three tensors that undergo three different channels each of which is composed of a convolutional layer followed by a subsampling, uh, subsampling uh, then a flattening layer. Uh, we use the 32 filters and the kernel size equal to 8 in each layer with the same uh, uh, binary cross entropy function as loss function uh, and the ADAM as uh, the optimization algorithm. Uh, there are many choices regarding the programming language. We have chosen Python for, with the following uh, modules. NumPy that provides multi-dimensional support for uh, arrays and uh, matrices together with mathematical functions on these arrays. Pandas, which offers uh, data structures and operations for manipulating numerical values and time series. Matplotlib, the Python package for uh, visualizing the results and CAS for building your own networks. Uh, we have used the uh, SLARM script to submit and monitor the execution on a cluster. Uh, the cluster, uh, uh, thanks, first thanks uh, to the uh, HPC cluster administrators for offering uh, access. The cluster is located at the technical platform of Constantin One University. The cluster is composed of 32 uh, IBM uh, 3550 M4. Each node is a 2 Intel Xeon uh, 8 uh, cores processor and uh, 24 uh, gigabytes of RAM. The obtained results show that uh, testing accuracies of all the three models are higher than uh, 90%. Uh, we also observe a slight improvement in favor of uh, multi-channel and inception-based models, 
compared to the linear model. The accuracy of the multi-channel model is 92% for testing data and 96 rock accuracy metric for uh, the rock uh, oak, oak, uh, metric. Uh, the training time depends on the number of epochs and uh, it takes approximately two hours to train the multi-channel model. Uh, to diagnostic models against overfitting, we plot accuracy and uh, uh, loss uh, gaps for the three models. On the X axis are epochs, on the Y axis the accuracy or the loss. In the case of um, multi-channel and inception plots, the lines uh, of training and uh, testing accuracies are close to each other exhibiting a gap of less than 5%. We also note that even there is a small deviation uh, in the case of the multi-channel model starting behind epoch uh, uh, 40, this deviation remains moderate. Uh, we also notice that uh, accuracy does not stop improving after a certain number of epochs or begins to decrease uh, afterwards. And in our sense, this small gap is a clear indication of non-overfitting. Uh, another indication of a good classifier is the ratio of false positive. The figure here is the plot of the confusion matrix corresponding to the inception model. The confusion matrix contains the following values, TP, TN, which are malware and good work conducted as such, and uh, FP, which are uh, benign applications predicted as malware. The FP ratio or false positive or false alarm is uh, 4%, meaning that from one benign application, the classifier misclasses four of them as malware. Uh, this ratio is due, in our sense, to the fact that uh, some good work or received applications perform calls to sensitive IPA or use dangerous permissions, such as uh, telephony manager, uh, get device ID, or uh, enjoy permission call phone. Uh, at the end of uh, this talk, I uh, recapitalized the content. We have applied the CNN-based architectures to the problem of automatic Android uh, malware detection. Uh, the multi-channel model achieves 92% of accuracy on a big data set, 100,000. Uh, multi-channel and uh, the main learned lesson is that multi-channel and inception-based models are better than uh, the linear model due to the use of different kernel sizes. And as future work, we plan to uh, extensively evaluate fine tuned inception and multi channel models on different data sets and malware specific data sets. Uh, and also to apply some of the Visalio KFT attacks on the enhanced models. Uh, uh, thank you for your attention. I'd be really interested in hearing and answering your questions.